Hello again, I'm back. It's been a while, again, kind of? No, but we're on like a good path. It's been only like two weeks since the last video I posted, so this is a good trajectory. This means we're moving forward with good progress. Recently, I've been watching a lot of Emma Chamberlain's new videos, and also I really liked Cheyenne Barton's most recent kind of week in the life video. And I think both those creators and those videos, I guess, just in general, have inspired me to really rethink the way that I'm making content. And so I'm working on that. As you know, if, as you may know, it's been a while since I've been making YouTube videos. It's been a while since I've been in this creative headspace for myself as opposed to for other people. The whole idea of like working for other people, I'm gonna talk about another time because it's a whole video in itself. But what I wanna talk about today is the time that's passed since I've been making content. And I think content in this case does refer to the YouTube channel and these YouTube videos, but it also kind of refers to me and my artistic practice just in general. Any sort of painting kind of stopped for several months, any drawings stopped. Um, I really just wasn't feeling creative output in the same way. And especially if you watch some of my older videos, one of the big things I really tried to push for myself was just discipline in continuing to make stuff, even though I didn't know what to make. Um, and then that just really continued to frustrate me. And so I let myself take a break and then that break just continued to grow and grow and grow. And you know, I thought it would be two months long and then I made a video saying I was coming back and also sorry about this situation. <laughs> I was gonna try to hold my head in front of the hole in the wall for the whole video, but I forgot. <laughs> the point is I made this video saying that I was back and I wasn't. And then I took a break that was longer than that one to begin with. And I think I was just holding really rigid expectations of what I wanted to be making and producing and how I wanted to see that developing. And so I took this break and the break just continued. And so now I'm at this point where maybe about a month ago I started drawing again and I was like, I'm not gonna film any of it. Like you guys will probably see it eventually, but in the meantime, I'm not filming it. I'm not turning the camera on. Um, I don't have to be on camera. And also I think, you know, folded into all of this has been like concerns about my skin not looking good. Like, yes, it looks clear now, but there were many days where I emotionally wanted to film or could handle filming, but um, my skin looked so bad that I was uncomfortable and self-conscious about it. And those were the days I really wished I had a podcast instead. But so, you know, there's like issues like that folded into video content making and it's hard when your outward appearance is also included in your art production. And so I'm trying to separate those a little bit more, not exclusively. I personally like having myself connected to my work, but it definitely pushing some detachment there a little bit. So about a month ago, I started drawing again. I hadn't touched my sketchbook since April. So almost six months of not making anything. And when I sat down, the work that I was making was so much better. It was so much better. And I don't really know, I don't really know if I can say why. I think sometimes just taking time off really helps. I'm a couple pages away from finishing the sketchbook and when I put it up, I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour for YouTube. And I think you guys will see what I mean about this transition and how visible it is from the end of when, right before I took a break and then the beginning of when I started to make work again. And I think it's just a really good display of the title of this video, that art flows within you and without you. <laughs> I don't know where I heard that for the first time. It may have been from a professor in school, but I remember hearing it and thinking, rough. <laughs> Cause it's like, if you're not making work, somebody else is, that was what I interpreted as the first time, you know, that when you're not working, somebody else is hustling. But I think I've started to realize that it's also, it's within you and it's completely separate from you, you know, the without you doesn't necessarily mean without you working, but it means without you having to practice it, it can still get better. Does that make sense? Now, that being said, my technical skill has gone down. My pen control is not so good. For a long time, I was a competitive weightlifter and I used to frequently talk about my little bitch wrists. They have been making an appearance. My little bitch wrists are not behaving the way that I prefer. Either way, we're hanging, we're back. I have some fun things coming soon, which I'm really excited to talk about and to share. Actually, that sounds such like YouTube ridiculousness. I don't really, don't let me hype you up. I'm trying though. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. 
That's all we can ask. I hope you are too. I'm still back. Like I said, I would be, I'll keep trying, but I'm working on a store, ordering some stickers. I got some new business cards. I'm going to make a little postcard and I'm going to open a store. So if you don't follow me on Instagram yet at Lil Metrop, cause my name is Sophia Metropolis, you can follow me on Instagram. And that's where the first information about any store opening will go. And then hopefully I'll make a video about it, but that's the plan. That's the plan. So anyway, art flows within you and without you. Let me know in the comments what you think that means to you. Do you have a different interpretation? Um, do you know where this came from? I probably, probably should have Googled that. Let me just Google it real quick. Looks like it doesn't even exist. So I made it up in my very smart brain. Um, just kidding. I think it was totally a professor that told me. It does say life flows on within you and without you. So maybe that's what it's from. But I like the idea of art. Thanks for joining me on that quick research moment. I hope you liked my little typing ASMR. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.